so much on my mind, so much on my heart, so much going on that I just got to get it off my chest. How you doing? How you feeling? How's it going? Go ahead, get your tea, your lemonade, your Kool-Aid, your wine, your whatever you like. So we can kick back, relax, and have a whole vibe. Because your girl, Lynn, is going on and on and on and on. And you know your girl be going on. So go ahead, get in the comments, talk to me, and I will talk back. I promise you that. You know what I'm saying? You feel that? You feel that? Good vibes and good energy coming straight to you. Oh. So, yeah. My life, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to figure my life out. Like, where do I want to go? Because a part of me, I'm ready to leave Texas. I, I'm ready to get up out of here. I'm ready to go. And then it's like, are you running, Lynn? I wouldn't say I'm running. I say I'm ready for a fresh start. I say I'm ready for a fresh start. Like, I'm ready for a fresh slate. I feel like I've been here too long. <laughs> I feel like when I first came here, well, hold up. When I first came here, I was in a relate. Well, I was working on a relationship. I was working on, you know what I'm saying? I moved here because a female, me and a female was talking. And we was building. Or oh, I was under depression. We was building something. And we didn't end up building nothing. And that maybe that might be my problem. I need to stop building. I don't need to build nothing else. Because everything I attempt to build, it just not success. <laughs> everything that I attempt to build, it just don't be a success. It be more of a flop. I don't need to build. I just need to let my partner build. Like, maybe my partner might need to build. And I need to find me something else to do. Because it be an epic fail. Because, yeah. But I feel like um, I came here. And I was talking to this female, and we was building something, and that ended up crashing. And I ended up still being here because myself was like, okay, well, I ain't got to leave just because we ain't working out. But I really feel like it's time for me to go. And I say, like, it's time for me to go. It's time for me to get myself for a fresh start because I need a new city. I, I need a new scene. Like, it won't change who I am. But it will give me a fresh slate. I mean, I'm not known out here. People don't know me like that because I go to work and come home, go to work and come home, go to work and come home. So, I don't know people like that. People don't know me like that. So, I ain't worried about that. I believe it's just more of the atmosphere. I feel like mentally... It's time for a fresh start. Because, like, I've come here. Excuse me. And I've met some interesting people. And I don't know. Maybe it might just be me. <laughs> True. Moment of truth. Like, maybe it might just be me. Like, maybe the people that I might be me might be challenging me to handle life or confront life better. Because I can't, I'm I'm real enough to say, your girl don't have it all figured out. Like, every day I'm taking steps and I'm learning and I'm striving and I'm learning because I didn't come from the best parenting household. Excuse me. I didn't come from the best parenting household. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was one that I grew up through the village. Like, a lot of people had their hands in helping raise me. So, it's a lot that I don't know. It's a lot that I wasn't taught. It, it's a lot that I wasn't prepared for. So, like, I'm still learning every day. You know, and I'm up for that. I'm up for learning. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like if it's going to help my tomorrow be better, teach me. Let me know. Like, what do I need to do? Or how do I need to? But don't be disrespectful and don't be rude. Because, you know, people have it bad saying, oh, well, you grown, so you should. That's not true. Because... Every grown person don't know everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, even teachers continue to learn being a teacher. So, if a teacher is still learning while being a teacher, that goes to show you that you don't stop learning. 
You know what I'm saying? So just because you hit adulthood don't mean that you done got it all wrapped and, and, and together with being an adult. That That's just not it. it that's a lie. And you need to fix it. <laughs> That's just not the truth. It, it ain't the truth. Like, so why you out here telling people they grown and they are adult? That's not wise. Ain't no wisdom coming from that. If anything, you're saying how wise you are. Because, see, when you're going to somebody that is wise, and you are getting advice from them, they are aware that you might not know, and it's something that you need to be taught. Hello, somebody. You know what I'm saying? So, with these people having to say, oh, well, you're an adult. Oh, you're a grown woman. So, you should know. Don't tell me that. Because if you feel like that, then, you know what I'm saying, I can kind of go in. And, and I can kind of say where people are not being grown. Where people are not being mature. Where people are not handling situations like grown women or grown men. Because today, you have a lot of overgrown guys that are lying and deceiving women for no reason like you have a lot of guys that are moving like little boys but expecting a grown woman how when you out here moving like a little boy you're not providing you're not leading you don't know how to take care of yourself you don't you don't you can't provide for you so how the hell are you gonna provide for her and her family you know what I'm saying? You ain't got yourself together. You don't have a vision, a goal. You don't have no ambition for yourself. You barely getting up and being productive within your life. So, how you gonna be a man for her? Make it make sense. And, and not even just the guys, but even the women. Like, you have women that don't know how to keep their hygiene up, right? You have women that don't know how to keep a house clean. You have women that don't know how to parent. You you have women that don't know how to budget a book. You know what I'm saying? Like, when it comes time to handling the income of a household and all of that, they're struggling. Somebody else is having to step in and step up to help. So, pause with all of that. Oh, you grown. Because what that mean? What? Because when you make an announcement, you let me know that you grown. That let me know you not grown. Because a grown person don't have to make the announcement that they grown. And for any person that has to fix their mouth and say, oh, well, you're a grown woman. You're a grown man. What? Because, see, they might be 34, but they might have... The knowledge of a 15 year old. Hmm. They might have the knowledge of a 21 year old. They might have a knowledge of an 18 year old. They might have the knowledge of a 2 year old. So just because they physically may look grown. That don't mean that they are mentally fully developed. Because if you even if you psychologically go and look. You have some boys that are 15 when they 18. You have some boys that are 21 and they 18. You know what I'm saying? That just goes to show you that just because you're 21, just because you're 25, just because you're 35, just because you're 40, that don't mean that you are mentally that age. Life and its experiences help some of us to be able to grow up and develop and to be able to handle experiences in life as an adult. I mean... You don't even have some kids that are 10 and 12 and some people think they're 16. You know what I'm saying? Because the life, the experience, the mentality, the mindset make you feel like they're older than what they are when really and truly they just kids. So with that being said, don't be so quick to judge a person and say, oh, they grown. So they should know. They should know better because they wrong. Now, don't get me wrong. It, it's, I'm not saying that when they wrong, they not wrong. I ain't saying that. Hold people accountable. Because if they wrong, they wrong. Hold them accountable. You know what I'm saying? But I'm speaking for if a person is in their learning stage, and if they are learning, don't knock them for learning. 
If they are coming for you and they are asking you, hey, can you show me this? Hey, can you teach me that? Hey, I don't know such, such, such. The first thing you want to say is, oh, well, you, so, so, you, you should know. I don't even want you to teach me nothing. Because you just let me know that your wisdom is not it. You more wisdom than wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Like, put me around the wise people. You know what I'm saying? Put me around the, the, the elders that have wisdom. And, and they can say, oh, come here, baby. I, I'll teach you. I'll show you how to wipe this down. And I'll show you how to, the trick to this. Because, see, even you used to, at times, have elders that'll put you in the kitchen and, and teach the woman that didn't know how to cook, how to cook. She didn't say, oh, well, you, um, you, you 30 some years old and you don't know how to cook. You getting her son. She finna make sure you can cook for her son. <coughs> Excuse me. So she gonna bring you in her kitchen and show you her tricks or her skills so that you can be able to be successful in your marriage. You can be able to be successful within life. You know, but today you have a lot of, oh, oh, you grown. So you should know that. Oh, you grown. And then you even have some guys that are, oh, you grown. So I, I, ain't, I ain't got time for that because you, you ain't even grown. You you ain't even grown. Because if you was grown and you was on your business, then you wouldn't even be challenging and meeting a person like her. Come on. Like, y'all matching. You know, nurse, doctor, doctor, nurse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, these people, like, people be meeting their partner. They be meeting their partner. People be meeting their partner. You know, like, like they say, for instance, if you not educated, you might meet some guys or some women that's not educated because y'all not educated. Now, your knowledge might be different, but in different places, y'all both might struggle, but y'all are compatible. You can make it work. You count money, she can't count. She can count money, you can't. I mean, you know, you can't. You know, it just, it match. Y'all can make it work. You know, but I was just saying all that to say, don't be so quick to judge the book by its cover. Don't be so quick to count a person out. Don't be so quick to judge a person because everybody has their story. And just because it's not yours and you don't understand it and you don't get it, just you bet I'm just saying that. I don't understand. Teach me. Then to just go be harsh and cruel and rude. Because it might one day be your son or your daughter that somebody might have to teach or break something down to. So keep your criticisms to a limit. I'm not for everybody. You're not for everybody. We're not for everybody. But just right for somebody. Oh.